An 05 Laredo with a big living room just came on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a 308 GR, roughly standing for about a 30 foot box, not including tongue and bumper. So probably 33, 33 and a half feet tip to tail. Um, and I guess the GR in the model number stands for great room. That's my only guess, kind of taking a nod for maybe residential construction. Um, this has a very comfortable feeling living room, very big in the back. And uh, as you can see here, as I come around the back side of the trailer, uh, the scientific word for this is about a billion windows. It's got a ton of windows, huge feeling living room with lots of light coming through. Um, night shades on all those if you want some privacy. Um, what I can, I, I haven't spoken with the guy that took this on trade, I haven't spoken with the original owners. What I can estimate, um, just by glancing at it, is I believe this was stored um, under a tree somewhere. Looks like there's a little bit of tree debris that has fallen on it, kind of a common thing. Um, something I thought was really cool is right here on the outside, under your awning, because if you notice, your awning starts behind this slide. It goes all the way up, way past the entry door, almost to the bedroom window. Huge awning coverage. It's so large, it's got a middle arm support, so at least 20 foot. Um, anyway, right here we have a little outdoor TV setup. How cool is that? So one TV can service the coach indoors or outdoors. Just depends on which way you want to spin it. Pretty cool setup. Step inside here for you. Um, Laredo has always been one of Keystone's higher end travel trailers ever since it was introduced. Um, it features, uh, you know, the uh, aluminum frame sidewalls all laminated. Um, everything, uh, you know, a touch above from the, uh, you know, average travel trailer that you find. And again, big living room with lots of big windows in here. Central air and central heat to keep you comfortable through the seasons. And, uh, you know, enough kitchen space here to be functional. But uh, this is definitely a big living room. This is, uh, you know, not necessarily made to be the campsite cook's dream. This is made to, uh, you know, just be able to kick your feet up, relax, and, uh, you know, watch a movie with some family or friends at the end of the night. Um, remember that this is a second slide over here uh, uh, in addition to the dinette slide that I passed. And actually, a quick note on that. It's, it's kind of deceiving because you think, oh, it's just the dinette and the slide out. It's also the refrigerator, which is one of the things that is really key. Darn that window. It's really fighting my camera here. One of the things in uh, making this floor plan feel so big is the refrigerator in the slide out. Spin you back around here. Pardon me. Now, this is a residential style sofa. What I mean by that is you can see the little feet. So there is a little storage pocket underneath there. It's perfect for Monopoly board game type stuff, if that's what you're interested in. Again, remember that the TV can be flipped around to face either direction. Really almost a very classic looking entertainment center. It adds a lot of character here. You know, it looks a lot like my grandparents' fifth wheel when I was growing up. I kind of like that. Um, cool little note too, is if we kick out this rear sofa into a hide bed, there is a privacy curtain right here, so you can close that off if you have guests. That is something that a lot of hide bed sofas do not have as any level of privacy, but they did pay attention to that detail here in this Laredo. Um, one of the advantages to getting the refrigerator off the floor and in the slide is you're going to pick up a little bit of extra storage where normally you would have none. And uh, I've never heard anyone complain about having too much storage in their RV. I've heard a lot of different opinions, but never too much storage. That is one that everyone seems to agree on. Now for your bathroom and bedroom, we do have a, a closing privacy pocket door up front here. And uh, uh, the uh, bedroom here, because it's a split bath, offers you exceptional floor space, which is extremely uh, useful uh, when you're you know, changing clothes. It sounds silly. But start really trying to pretend you're, you know, going to bend over and not hit your head on something. A lot of these trailers, the way they're built, when you're walking around, just, you know, in general looking at them, they seem fine. But when you try to actually, you know, like use the toilet or stand in the shower or stand at the sink and do dishes, they start to fall short on you. And that is uh, one of the areas I like about Keystone. Is they've always generally had some pretty well thought out floor plans. Laredo I've always enjoyed because they're always just a bit left of center. You know, you've seen things like it, but they add just an extra touch. Like you might have seen a floor plan like this, but it may not have had that second slide out or the fridge may not have been in the slide or no privacy curtain for the sofa. It's those extra touches that make me like this one and I gravitate toward it a lot as a result. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, and happy camping. See you, everybody.